Anyway, back to Schrudel. So my mama made them, but she always said she had very weak fingernails. They would break off like much like a shark's teeth, but she had many more under, they would just fold out. So it was uh, not uncommon to have in one piece of Strudel 40 to 50 fingernails of my mother's. But if you didn't eat them, she would beat you mercilessly for being an ingrateful for not consuming all of her Strudel. In other news... The Fox you fed, your fur fox, except tricks, tillage, Darren Avery, with the fed pool, Rutna and Yeti, I'm Sadoshi, the I'm a memory. Although I do not recognize this legend, I shall use it to emulate my point here from another culture's perspective. Then I shall tell the legend that I remember. The Hindu legend I am referring to involves the battle between Brahma and his brother, Vishnu, and Shiva. According to Hindu mythology, there was a time when Brahma became arrogant and claimed to be the supreme creator of the universe. In order to teach him a lesson, Lord Vishnu took the form of a boar and plunged into the depths of the cosmic ocean to find the source of creation. After a thousand years of searching, Vishnu discovered a lotus emerging from Lord Shiva's navel. Inside the lotus, he found Lord Brahma. Vishnu confronted Brahma about his arrogance, which led to a heated debate between the two brothers. To settle the argument, Lord Shiva appeared before them in the form of a towering pillar of fire, known as the Lingam. Brahma and Vishnu decided to find the ends of the pillar, with Brahma taking the form of a swan and Vishnu transforming into a boar. However, no matter how far they went, the pillar seemed endless. Realizing the futility of their quest, they returned to the starting point where they found Lord Shiva emerging from the pillar. Shiva then revealed that he is the supreme being, the ultimate creator, preserver, and destroyer of the universe. 
This incident humbled Brahma and Vishnu, making them acknowledge Shiva's supremacy. From then on, Shiva came to be known as the Destroyer, while Brahma and Vishnu took on their respective roles as the creator and preserver of the universe. This fascinating legend reminds us of the importance of humility in the eternal nature of Lord Shiva as the ultimate force behind creation, preservation, and destruction in Hindu mythology. But ultimately it reveals that Brahma and Vishnu are but decoys and arbiters of the true inertia and source of creation, Shiva, who anointed Brahma the title of creator and appointed Vishnu the title of protector but not the responsibility of such titles. That role remained in the hands of the one who was, and is, and has always meant to be Shiva. For only he who creates has also the responsibility of deciding when what he has made shall come to an end as well as it is he who is responsible for its well-being so that it may serve its purpose. For which it was made. Now the legend I remember involved the two brothers, Brahma and Ganesha. Brahma had become arrogant and materialistic, selfish and greedy, as earthly kings are prone to become. Ganesha finally had enough of his arrogance and decided to teach him a lesson that would bring him down from his egocentric heights. Brahma was boasting about the ferocity of his elephant form's might. That there was no creature that could challenge its strength. Ganesha suddenly appeared in the form of a mouse at Brahma's feet. His elephant form reared back and stampeded out of control at the sight of the mouse as Brahma fell on his hands and knees at Ganesha's feet. Bolstering a loud laugh and feeling insulted before the court of the other gods Brahma and Ganesha erupted into a fierce rivalry that eventually began to make the other gods whisper in concern. The sheer power and might of the two gods fighting tore across the skies and created the landscape of the heavens. After a time of fighting between each other, neither one able to defeat the other, there appeared suddenly in the waters of the ocean between them a being of both magnificence and might. It seemed in the power used by the two gods in their conflict they had unknowingly created a being born from the chaos and destruction of their conflict. Unrivaled and a force neither god could stand against there rose from the ocean a four-armed creature of both beauty and malevolence, Shiva the god of chaos and destruction. With one fell wave of Shiva's hand and the two gods' conflict and power came to a sudden halt as Shiva spoke his first words, I am a result of both of your arrogance. I am the god of chaos and destruction. The gods had always questioned whether this unfolded because of Brahma and Ganesha's parents attempting to teach the siblings the price of their rivalry. That is not the exact legend that I remember reading somewhere, only I cannot remember where nor can I find any traces of this tale, but I do clearly remember reading it somewhere, that I am sure of. <laughs>